when it became a time to where everybody would flip flop on their morals and values for a political view, then uh, that's right. when you could see things tanking. Well, what's happened is the yeah, that sounds horrible, but the American church, the 501 C three has basically made eunuchs out of men, feminized men. Perfect. And we no longer stand up and do what's right. Right. Um, and we really, it is sad. We should repent of that, right? Godly men should stand up and start taking control of things. Guess who's taking dominion of the land? You know, Muslims, the LGBTQ movement. Um, all these, all these teachers now are running for, you know, seats in the, in the, um, you know, in in different forms of government and throughout the city and the state, and um, the unions are taking dominion, but. Christians are not taking dominion, even though we got a church on every corner here in Texas, right? We but do. they're not taking dominion. What have they turned into? They turned into country clubs, right? Yeah. You go to church, you go out to eat, you watch a football game. It is an awesome life, right? Like it, like I'm not saying that that's that's horrible. It's kind of fun, right? But it's not our job. Like we have a responsibility as men in the community, and we've kind of just become eunuchs um and we get the pastors we deserve right that tickle our ears and uh so i mean it makes it hard because you know you're not supposed to talk bad about the church you know people say oh you hate the bride of christ which i don't i'm a christian right like i i love the church like i just try to encourage them like hey we should like we should do some stuff all right um and you're not supposed to talk bad about the schools Right. And you definitely always have to vote for a Republican, even if he's like a wicked mm -hmm. guy. Right. Even if like Jeff Leach, you know, you got to vote for him because you don't want a Democrat there. You know, but, but you're going to get the same result. I mean, that, that's the sad part about it is if you got somebody that's um, that's not going to push a vote through and is worried about their position and a veto, then what good are they doing in that position in the first place? Um, right. 